welcome back to the channel this morning i want to react to a popping story that is um making the rounds in my country jamaica there's a lot of talks prayers and requests for the safe return of this beautiful young lady from jamaica yes she goes by the name of donna lee donaldson a 24 year old girl very beautiful information reaching us is that donna she left home on Monday, July 11, you know, and she has not been seen since. She left in the company of a male friend. She had a communication with her family members on Tuesday, July 12 at about 5 p.m. and has not been seen nor heard from since. It seems she has just vanished into thin air. A missing person report was filed with the police by her family on Wednesday, July 13. But up to date, nothing has turned up. No news. She has not returned. The question on everybody's lips is, where is Donna Lee Donaldson? For many of us, we would like to comfort ourselves with the belief that she is just cooling out somewhere. And that she would soon return home. Yes, that's what we are hoping for. That she, you know, would just return home to her family and loved ones. You know, and so we keep praying. We keep praying because that is exactly what we would want. That she returns home, you know, to her loved ones. But others, however, are thinking the worst. That the Grim Reaper, you know, the Grim Reaper has got her. And especially now, she has disappeared for more than a week. According to the Jamaican Gleaner of Sunday, July 17, 2022, a high-level police probe has been launched into her disappearance. I do hope that we will hear great news of her being found alive and reunited with her family. Miss Donaldson's family and community members had demonstrated their disgust of her disappearance by launching a protest for her safe return. This protest took place in New Kingston yesterday, you know, where it is alleged that she was last seen. Yes, that was where they said she was last seen with this companion of hers. And so they figured that they would, you know, raise an alarm in that area so that if anyone has any information about her, you know, they would bring it forward. There are many talks being, you know, going around. Persons are speculating as to what might have caused her disappearance. I really don't know. I am just reacting to what is out there in, you know, mainstream media. I am not going to join the speculation bandwagon. What I want is for this lady to return safely to her family. Wherever she is, you know, cooling out, at least let us know that she is okay. Let us know that she is safe. Many persons who go missing in this country, you know, sometimes never return home. No trace. We don't know what happened. But in this situation, we all are praying that she will just come home. She will just walk through the door and say, listen, you know, I was just plain tired. I was just plain tired and just decide on some me time. And yes, she'll be prepared to take the bashing and all of that. But at least we would know that she is still alive. Now, it's another saga if the Grim Reaper has taken her. You know, that's another story. And the police, as they said, they have launched a high-level probe into the matter. I don't know what is meant by the term high-level probe, but I just have to trust that whatever that term means, it means that they are going to go all out. No stone will be left unturned for the safe return of this young lady. Yes, she's a beautiful person. I don't know that someone would want to, you know, cause her harm or to hurt her. So I am of the opinion that she, 
but she is alive and well. She must be alive and well. You know, here her mom is really, really, really been crying. She has to be comforted. In one of the um, news releases that I have seen, her brother, you know, was on the phone and he was talking a lot about her. Mainly good things are only good things. One news report was saying that her mother is sickly. She had um, pneumonia and the daughter would have been the one who, you know, would be taking care of her. And the fact that she has gone missing, it has sent this mother into distress. It is not a good feeling. I don't know that anyone feels good when a family member or a friend or a loved one goes missing. And here in this picture, the agony, the pain, it is quite well exhibited. There is no, you know, shame. She is crying. She is crying and she is begging anyone who has any information to come. Come forward. Let me have it. Whether it is good or it is bad. Just let me have some information. I don't know what the story is. I don't know who she left with. I don't know if the person she left with has anything to say about the matter. You know, I don't know. But the news says that there is a high-level probe taking place. And when a high-level probe is taking place, then I would assume that the person she was last seen with, he or she would be persons of interest. And so, during the probe or the investigation, this person would have been called upon to answer some questions and to shed some light on the matter. I do hope, as I said, that she is just cooling out someplace and that she will return home safely. It is time like these, you know, in times like these that we have to bond together as a nation. We have to bond as parents. We have to comfort each other. And as I said, hope for the best. I, would, I wouldn't want to think that anything bad has happened to this beautiful girl. You know, she has a bright future, I guess just as bright as her face. Yes, and I am saying beautiful here, not because of um, Donna Lee's physical, you know, expression or of uh, beauty, but I am saying that any person, any person who would have, you know, gone missing and we have to talk about them, we would have to say beautiful person. Right. She is a beautiful person. Just looking on her, you know, we are saying that no one would hurt a person. No one would hurt another human. Yes. And um, for her to have left with a friend, it must have been, you know, a situation where she would have trusted this person. There are many talks, you know, in mainstream media. Her mother, you know, gave her side of the story and of the person that um, Donna had left with. The mother said this is a person who Donna and the family would have known for about two years. So Donna would have trusted to go with this person. And I am saying that, okay, fine, for her to have trusted and have gone with this person, someone she has known over two years, then it brings me, you know, to the conclusion that she is just cooling out someplace, you know. She is just cooling out someplace. Nothing is wrong with her. It can't be. You left with someone who you have known over a period of time, so I am saying, and you know, the type of person you have left with is a person who we expect to protect, you know, to protect her. So I am holding on to the belief that this beautiful girl is alive and well. Yes, she has to be. She left in the company of someone who she knows is supposed to protect her at all costs. She 
will be protected. This is not the first time she would have gone with this person and she would have returned. Whatever the situation, whatever the relationship is, I don't know. But I am saying that she must be alive someplace. I will not accept anything else. I certainly do not want to accept anything else. You have left with someone who you know will protect you at all costs. It means that you are alive because you were being protected. But then the family is saying that the person she left with was the one who called and, you know, peak an awareness that something might have gone wrong. Because the way the person would have asked for her, if they had an argument or if they were in some type of verbal fight or otherwise, the way the person, you know, called and asked for her and reported that, okay, she had left, you know, his presence, I'm saying it's his presence, you know, a day before and he hadn't heard from her. It was different from the way that he would have normally asked for her. So this piqued an interest in that type of conversation because it deviated from the normal way which he would have asked if they had a fight. So they are holding this companion, you know, responsible for her in that the way he would have asked for her previously, that had changed. So they are holding him responsible. They are, you know, saying to the Jamaica Constabulary Force, we are looking to you. We are looking to you to help us. We are hoping that this high-level probe will be fruitful. We are expecting answers. We are expecting the best outcome. We are not crying, oh, oh, we need justice, we need justice. We need the safe return of our daughter. We need the safe return of our sister, niece, friend, classmate, roommate. We need the safe return. So it's not about justice. It's about safe return. Where is Donna Lee Donaldson? Where is she? Who will answer this question for us? My friends, I hope for all of us sake, for the country's sake, for the family's sake, for her roommates, for her friend, for every Jamaican, for every woman worldwide, we are hoping that she will be home to her family, and that she is safe. We will keep on praying. We will keep up the vigil. We will keep on hoping because we have to believe that she must come home to us alive. Donna Lee, wherever you are, I hope and I am praying that you are alive and well and that you will tell us exactly why you kept us, you know, in such a suspense, high-level suspense, sleepless night, grief, crying, the pain of a potential loss, the pain of a mother, you know, the grief. Why did you keep us in such type of suspense? My friends, I hope that you will help to pray for her safe return. And I hope that her story upon her return will be one of good news. Take care. Walk good. All the best. At this time, we all panic. We all are fearful. We all, you know, pray hard. When we leave home, when our kids leave home, home we just pray for their safe return because we don't know what is happening in this country many persons are just you know 
not showing up. 